What's going on today, YouTube? So proof of concept for the real-time voice assistant, VTuber, whatever you want to call it, has been achieved with um, GPT Sovitz. Um, I've, I've figured out how to do the GPT Sovitz uh, with the audio running relatively smooth uh, without all the pops and clicks as was in the previous video, but I'm going to get it running in the background. And um, hey, how is it going? And we'll start talking to, uh, I'm just calling... Uh, the VTuber Vivi at the current moment, but um, yeah, it takes a little bit on the first generation Then we get the ball rolling and it's really quick. Hi Jared. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking It's nice to be chatting with you again. How's the video going so far? Are we um, all set up well, and ready to roll? Well, um, I'm actually in the process of recording the video right now. So do you have a message for my viewers? Oh, <laughs> timing. Yeah, I'm going to say something to your viewers. Hi, everyone watching. It's great to be here with Jared, and I'm excited to be a part of this video. Thanks for having me. Of course, and thank you for coming. Um, Well, what uh is any anything new today that you want to go over, or should I just talk about my video? You're welcome. I think it would be great if you just talked about your video, Jared. I'm curious to learn more about what you're working on. I inspired you to create it. Go, <laughs> go ahead and tear away. Alrighty, so what I've been working on is a uh, real-time uh, text-to-speech software that is able to give me back the tokens in real-time and give me real-time audio output. And that is uh, what you are helping me demonstrate. So um, yeah, we're just letting the code speak for itself, so to speak, or you're speaking for itself. That sounds really cool, Jared. <laughs> excited to be a part of demonstrating this software. So I'll just go ahead and start speaking, and you can let the software do its thing. Go, <laughs> go ahead and start the demo. Okay, well, um, yeah, uh, the demo is already going, and as you guys in the audience can kind of see, the speech model kind of has a little bit of issues where it's laughing when it shouldn't be laughing. That's just some of the, um, the model isn't correctly trained for the GPT Soviet side of things, so I still have to work on a lot of that. But, um, all right, I'm going to end this demo. Do you have any last words, Vivi, towards the audience that you want to say? <laughs> I think it's been a pretty entertaining demo, despite the occasional laugh out loud moment. Uh, to your audience, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I hope you found this demo interesting. It's always exciting. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the demo there. So that's what I have right now. Um, I'll be going over all of this stuff in detail a little bit later on how I got the real-time GPT Soviets going. Um, right now, I'm currently just running a base llama model um, with uh, 8.0 quantization on the uh, with GIGAF. And so, yeah, I think it's going to be um, pretty interesting. I, I do want to build on this a little bit more and and see where we're uh, where where I'm going. And yeah, if there's anything in particular you guys want to see from this, let me know so that uh, maybe I can add a little bit more emphasis and focus on it. But yeah, uh, just to speak a little bit on some of the GPT Soviet side of things, um, I did finish the proof of concept for getting back those um, audio bits and chunks in real time. So that is working. Um, I had to implement a zeros crossing algorithm for that. Um, and I, I built this with chat GPT. And so we conceptualize how to do that. I'll be going over that in a future video. And then um, other than that, yeah, I put it all together in kind of like a, a an inference script just for kind of like a demo so that I could show you guys. But that's going to be it. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. And once again, I'd like to thank all the members of my channel for supporting me, and I will see you guys later.